2 Samuel, chapter 17, verse 15. Then said Hushai unto Zadok and unto Biophar the priest. Now we've had these two councils. Hushai steps out from uh, Absalom. He goes to the priest, who are on all David's side. Thus and thus did Athel counsel with Absalom and the elders of Israel. This is what he said. And thus and thus have I counseled. So he gives both sides of the story. Now therefore, send quickly and tell David, saying, Lodge not this night in the plains of the wilderness, but speedily pass over would be the Jordan. At least the king, that would be Absalom. Notice how he's recognized as king. There are two kings right now in Jerusalem. One's on the run. At least the king swallowed up. That would be Absalom coming swallowing up David, killing him. And all the people that are with him. So Absalom's coming. And he goes to the priest and says, Listen, you, you got to get word to David. Absalom wants you dead. The council of Hethel was. We're going to get 12,000 men. We're going to kill them. I changed that. Hushai never mentions death. Let's, Absalom, you get out there in battle. Now Jonathan and Ahimaaz stayed by Enrogo, in for they might not be seen to come into the city. So they're, they're, they're of David. They're of the priest. But they don't want to make themselves known, especially to Absalom. And a wench, that's the only time that word shows up. And a dictionary word for it is a young woman. Number two would be a young woman of ill fame. So she's not regarded too well. How many women did Jesus deal, deal with that would have been ill fame? The woman at the well, oh, this is, you know, what's the name of your husband? I don't have a husband. The woman taking adultery, they're ready to stone her. Well, they're ready to get, commit Jesus. Mary Magdalene had, uh, I think they said seven devils. Went and told them. And they went and told King David. So, here's word to Zadok and Abiathar from Hushai. And a kind of roundabout way to get to their sons who are not where they should be because of everything. They send a wench and say, listen, you got to go to David. You can't be seen talking to Zadok and Abiathar in case Hushai has been seen talking to him. Nevertheless, a lad, that's a young child, saw them and told Absalom. And there's always someone in your life that's going to tell on you. There's always somebody, when you want to do right, they're going to call the police on you. They're going to complain about you. But they both of them went. And they went, both of them, away quickly. And came to a man's house in Bahurim, which had a well in his court. Well, he's real good. He's got a well right there in his yard. Water is a source of life for plants, for animals, for the people, for cleansing. He's got it right there in his yard, whether they went down. And the women took and spread. Here's a woman at the well. That's an interesting subject of the Bible. Women in the well. Took and spread a covering over the well's mouth and spread ground corn thereon. And the thing was not known. So the men get in this well. And then she takes a covering, a blanket or something, covers that well up and puts corn, grain. Like this well is not, hasn't been used in a while. We got, look at all the stuff we got. We're drying our corn. And when Absalom's servants came to the woman, to the house, they said, where is Ahimaaz and Jonathan? And the woman said unto them, they be gone over the brook of water. That's exactly almost what Rahab said. Protecting the spies. It's a lie. But it looks like God honors a lie when you're protecting Jews. Those 
sheep nations that are going to protect the Jews in the tribulation period. Don't you think they're going to have to lie some to help those Jews? You think they can walk right up to the grocery store and say, hey, I'm getting this for my Jewish friend. They're going to give it to them? What are you doing with those bandages? Well, you know, i got a friend. It's not for a Jew, is it? No, no, it's not for a Jew. Rahab lied to protect those spies. This woman is lying to protect the priest. Notice that Saul killed the priest, and now the, Saul, the priests are being sought by Absalom. And when they had sought and could not find them, Joshua chapter 17, they returned to Jerusalem. And it came to pass after they were departed that they came up out of the well, so they're in that well, and went and told King David. And said unto David, Rise and pass quickly over the water, Jordan. For thus has Athahel counseled against you. Death. David rose and all the people that were with him. And they passed over Jordan by the morning light. And lacked not one of them that were that was not going over the Jordan. No one drowned. Everybody, it's almost, it almost seems like Maybe the Jordan is, is overflowing its bank. The Jordan, I'm told, is a very mighty river. And I guess if you're not careful, you could be swept away. But everybody crossed over. And when Athel saw, now watch this, that his counsel was not followed, he saddled his ass and arose and got him home to his house, to his city, and put his household in order and hanged himself. And died. That's exactly what happened to Judas in Acts chapter 1. When he saw that his counsel of selling out Jesus was not to his welfare, he went and hung himself. This, this guy, oh, they didn't listen to me. They didn't hearken to me. <laughs> really? You're so much into yourself that if they didn't listen to one of your... Con the Bible says you spoke as the oracles of God. And one time they did not listen to you. Though they said it was good. It was good counsel. Just not that time. You had to go and hang yourself. And hanged himself. And died. And was buried in the sepulcher of his father. Then David came... <laughs> we got this little side note in there. You know, Let's see what happened to this guy. That He's dead. Absalom's next. Now Absalom is the son of the son of David. That little baby died, number one. Uh, Amon died, number two. Absalom is going to be the third chief of four. Absalom has no relationship to David. Then David came to Mahanam. And Absalom passed over Jordan. Okay, they're all on the other side of the Jordan. He and all the men of Israel with him. And Absalom made Amasa captain of the host instead of Joab. Joab is now with David's military. Amasa is now with Absalom's military. He's a captain. And the time being when David took the throne that of Saul's family, I forget his name, had rulership, had kingship. And he had a ruler. I can't think of his name, but he was slain by Joab. This is military captains of a military group. Amasa, which Amasa was a man's son. I hope he was. Whose name was Ithra. An Israelite. Jewish. That went into... Abigail, and I gotta read this very, very slowly, and went into Abigail, the daughter of Nahash, sister to Zeruiah. That's interesting. Joab's mother. So let's look at 1 Chronicles 2.15 again. And it's quite possibly, possibly, 1 Chronicles 2.15, we have found Another name for Jesse. 
Or we found the name of David's mother. So 1 Chronicles 2.15, and we'll pick up verse 13, this context. And Jesse begat his firstborn. Verse 15, Ozum the sixth, David the seventh, whose sisters were Zariah and Abigail. The sons of Zariah, Abishai, and Joab, Nazil. And Abigail bare, now here's a problem, they say, a mesa. So when we come back over here, in verse 25, And Absalom made Amasa captain of the host instead of Joab, which Amasa was a man's son, whose name was Ithar the Israelite. That's the name of Amasa's father. That went into Abigail, the daughter of Nahash, sister of Zariah. So there's Abigail and Zariah, they are sisters. The daughter of Nahash. And one of the sisters, Zariah, Joab's mother. Zariah, we saw in 1 Corinthians 2.15. She has three boys and one of them is Joab. Abigail was another sister of David. Nahash is David's mother. And I remember a preacher saying one of the things that was this revelation was, he heard one time that there was a game show contestant and all that, and that, you know, the question was, what was the name of David's mother? And the contestant said, well, it is unknown in the Bible, and they gave the guy the reward. That's all wrong. There's David's family. Now, what about Abigail having a son named Amasa? You can't name the child after the father? When they named John the Baptist say, wait a minute, no one in your family is named by that name. You name him what I said to be named. So there's David's family. So Israel and Absalom pitched in the land of Gilead. The whole nation is against David. His son is against his father. And Jesus said, I will raise the father against the child, and the child against the father, and the mother against the daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. A type of Jesus Christ. And yet this is all for David's sin. And it came to pass when David was come to Menahem, that Shobai, the son of Nahash, of Rabbah, of the children of Amon, that's a lot, and Micah, the son of Emil of Lodibar. Who else is from Lodibar? That's Mephibosheth, Jonathan's son. And Barzili, the Gilead of Roglenum. Brought beds. First time that word shows up, beds. David is on and has been on the run, but everybody seems to bring, bring in his needs. And though David is reaping for his sin, God is still providing his needs. And basins, and earthen vessels, that would be clay, pots, and wheat, and barley, and flour, and parched corn, and beans. That's the first time beans shows up in the Bible. And lentils. You remember lentils, that's what happened with Jacob and Esau. And parch pulse. That's the first time pulse is, is mentioned. I forgot to look that word up. It's probably some kind of food. And honey. And butter. And sheep. I bet you David went up and started patting that sheep on the head. Like an oatmeal. Like an oatmeal. Pulse. Yeah. David's going back to his childhood with that sheep coming. Oh, oh if I was only back in those fields again watching them sheep. And cheese, that's the first time cheese shows up in the Bible. Of kind, that's multiple cattle. So the milk of, of cows, the cheese. And David and for, for David and for the people that were with him to eat. I mean, I mean did I have to really be put in there? They just brought all this stuff and they were just, you know, okay. To eat, for they said the people are hungry and weary. And thirsty. 
in the wilderness. So running from Absalom, running from Saul, getting ready to go attack um, Abigail's husband, uh, Nabal, Nabal. His troops are, they're, they're tired, they're, they're worn out, and God still provides for him. Paul and Christians are not guaranteed that. Paul said he went many days fasting. He went many days without food. There's a difference between being without food and fasting. <coughs> fasting is volunteer. There were times Paul said he went without thirst. He went thirsting without water. There was a time that he was in the salt water from a shipwreck. He couldn't drink that water. David, his sure mercies of obeying God, you get the reward. God's not finished with him. Asahel died because he said, let's kill David. Absalom's going to die because he said, we're going to kill David. And God says, hey, all you're supposed to do is chastise him. You're not to kill him. And he's under protection of God. 